Hello and welcome to For the Blood of Christ Ministry. On today, I have a continuation of a previous teaching to share with you, my precious children. But before I do, I want to go before our Father. I want to lift him on high. I want to thank him for what he is doing, what he has done, and what he shall do. So, let us go. In fact, I'm going to anoint my hands, and then we will go before the throne of our Father. I hope you're doing good on this beautiful day, the 19th day of the 11th month. Today, my precious daughter is six months, six years and five months old, and I know what God has promised me. He shall do, because he is the lion of the tribe of Judah. Oh, praise God, and we are children of Judah. Let us go before our Father. Most Holy Father God, we thank you for who you are, for what you've done, and for what you are about to do. We know that your words are yea and amen. We know that if you have made a promise, if you have sealed it with your signet, if you have put your name upon it, then it shall be done. The words that come from your mouth, from your lips, and through even other human beings to us, they are a reminder that if you said it, you will do it. So now, my Father, You've given me breath in my lungs. You've given me a blood flowing through my veins. Uh, you have kept me in my right mind. Uh, you have protected me from uh, gunmen and uh, uh, witches and wizards and obiawakas. And you have protected me even from vile, wretched judges and lawyers. You have kept me because... I am yours. And so now, my Father, I present my children, Joseph, Nathaniel, Faith, Ellen, my precious children, the fruit of my womb. Lord, you said it in the words of God in Psalms 125. Lord God, that the fruit of the womb is your reward to those who lord you favor you favored me with four beautiful children lord the truth be told you favored me with many more and i know i shall see them one day in glory but now lord in this terrestrial in this planet called earth this little blue and brown ball which you have shown me is but a little tiny marble in the realm, in the vastness of your creation. And now, what do we have here, Father? That vile seeds of the devil, children of the serpent, would dare to steal my son and my precious daughter from your heritage and deny them the right to worship you and to uh, practice serving you and seeking you now you have said in nahum chapter 1 and verse 2 let me read you let me read to you my father what you said verbatim i'm not even going to try to paraphrase what you said this is what you said God is jealous. A jealous is your name. And the Lord revenge it and is furious. Ooh, suki suki. The Lord will take vengeance 
on his adversaries. That's what you say. I didn't say that. You said it, Father. You said it. So now you've got to honor it because you said it. If you said it, you will do it. And he reserveth wrath for his enemies. Now, my father, I want to go to uh, Jeremiah chapter 31 because that's what you said. You reserveth wrath for your enemies. Now, any enemy of your child is an enemy of God. Any enemy of a child of God is an enemy of God. So now, Lord, I, I believe there is over a thousand enemies. And I saw in 2 Kings 19 where uh, uh, the angel of the Lord, uh, Adonai Tizivothel, the angel of the Lord, the angel of Higion, the, the spirit of Higion, the, the, the devouring spirit of the angel of the Lord, the angel of the Lord who shows up as the angel of the Lord, as Adonai Tizivothel, the angel of the Lord who carries the spirit of Higion, the investigative uh, uh, contemplative, uh, uh, meditative uh, uh, spirit of vengeance, spirit of justice, spirit of revenge. I see you, Father, as you descended on your heavenly chariot. Lord, as you uh, burned through earth's ionosphere and the mesosphere and Lord the stratosphere and as you uh, uh, pause in earth's atmosphere Lord and as I I reached up and and I took from your chariot Lord the gift which you which bowed itself to me and as I fell on my knees and as I worship you and as your investigative, contemplative, meditative spirit uh, uh, judged me and uh, searched me and you found no fault in me because you know that I am not guilty of mine accusers and what they have accused me wrongfully of. And then Adonai Tizivothel, as the investigative, contemplative, meditative spirit of Higion uh, sought and searched out mine adversaries. And as they stood in defiance of your power, Lord, and as they fail and refuse to bow before the great and mighty honorable angel of the Lord, as they refuse with defiance to bow before you because they are vile, because they are evil, because they are wretched, because their father is the devil. Lord, you spared me from seeing their demise <laughs> right in that split nanosecond in the quantum time. Lord God, you spared me from seeing their demise. But I thank you that the vengeance which you brought is here. It has been executed. It has been executed in the spirit. And today, on a day when my baby girl has turned six years and five months, Lord, it's been almost four years since I have not seen, have not talked to my precious baby girl, 
have not seen, have not talked to, have not held, have not hugged, have not cared for my precious son, Joseph, my precious daughter, Faith, uh, children who are mine, children whom are an heritage of you, Lord, children whom loves you and still do. Uh, Joseph, uh, Lord, I have a Bible here that I brought and bought him on the day he turned 11. He is now 14 plus. Oh God. And the Bible sits here. Ha <laughs> ha. Faith. I bought her a Bible when she turned one. And her Bible sits here. Lord, <laughs> Lord, as I recall the songs that my baby girl, <laughs> I want to dance with somebody. And as we would dance to that song, and as we would twirl, and as we worshipped you, and as my precious son Joseph would come over and hold me by the hips and say, Mom, uh, stop dancing. And I would show him how to praise God and dance. Uh, and he would come so ever so often with uh, different discoveries that he found out about in your word and in nature. And my father, as I remind you now of all that my precious children, uh, Joseph and Faith, uh, uh, enjoyed to do concerning you because they are blood-bought children <laughs> and because they love you. Now what do I have here, Lord? The Egyptians, they cause my children to uh, uh, weep and moan and, and wail every day and the Pharaoh, every day your name is blasphemed. Every day your name is a reproach. <laughs> the unclean, uncircumcised uh, Philistine dogs, <laughs> they have told my son <laughs> that his belief in you <laughs> is foolishness. <laughs> Lord, did you hear that? <laughs> you are a fool. <laughs> they say you are a fool. <laughs> <laughs> they say you are a fool. <laughs> they have renounced and, and denounced your authority. They have renounced and denounced your power. Uh, they have told Joseph <laughs> that <laughs> he shall never see me again. <laughs> they have told Joseph in faith <laughs> that I am dead. <laughs> but the devil devil is a liar. <laughs> I'm alive and in living color. <laughs> and now, my father, what say you? Thus saith the Lord. <laughs> Jeremiah 31, <laughs> verse 30, verse 15, <laughs> 16, <laughs> and 17. Let me read it <laughs> as it is written. Let me read it. <laughs> Hallelujah, as it is written, uh, Jeremiah chapter 31, uh, verses 15. Ha, ha, ha. Thus saith the Lord, ha, ha. a voice was heard in Ramah, a lamentation and bitter weeping. Now, Lord, you have said not to add one jot or take away one now, I was shown what a jot is. A jot is a Hebrew symbol, and it represents you. So now, Lord, they have taken away you from my son and my daughter, one jot. So I'm going to do what... Uh, the spirit of the living God says, I'm going to replace uh, the name of this lady in this 
word uh, with my name and I'm going to replace the land with the land of the enemy the name of the land of the enemy and I'm going to replace the name of uh, uh, my children with the name of my son and my daughter and so now Lord as I read the promise uh, that you gave to me uh, the same promise which you gave to the sister in Ponal, Maine on uh, June the 20 something of this year. I'm going to read back what you gave to us, uh, to you, and let me see you not honor your word. And then the heathen, uh, what they say, what they uh, reproach you, what they blaspheme you would be true oh god lest not your words be reproached so now my father verse 15 a voice this is you telling your people a voice was heard in new hampshire in New York, in Connecticut, in Illinois, in Jamaica, in Florida, in Maine, in New Jersey, in New York, in Ohio, in Virginia, in Washington DC Lord in California in every place Massachusetts in Rhode Island in Vermont in Pennsylvania Lord every place where I have been where my children have been in Venezuela, in Florida, in Tennessee, every place where my children have been, a voice was heard, lamentation and bitter weeping. Grace, weeping for Joseph and faith. Refuse to be comforted for Joseph and faith because they were not and Actually, Lord, let me back up. Refuse to be comforted for Joseph and Faith and Kaylee and Addie because they were not. What were they not? They were not in her custody. They were not in her home. They were not in her care. They were not in a place where she could even see them. They were not happy. They were not content. They were not allowed to worship the true and living God, Yahweh. They were not allowed to talk about God. They were not free to serve the God of their choosing. They were not allowed to freely attend church in America. They were not allowed to even have
This is Joseph's Bible. This is his 11th birthday gift to Joseph Nathaniel, my son. This is his gift. It's going for years. This is your word. <laughs> this is your word. My father, this is faith's Bible. Notice it says faith. This is faith's Bible. Six years, five months. This is faith's Bible not being opened by faith. Joseph's Bible has never been opened by him. Now, Father, <clears throat> what do we have here? Verse 16, Father, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Refrain thy voice from weeping, Grace, I know you're talking to me, Lord. Refrain thy voice from weeping and thine eyes from tears, saith the Lord. For thy work shall be rewarded. Hallelujah, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And they... In meaning uh, Joseph uh, and faith shall come again from the land of Kentucky. Lord, in your word, you said the land of the enemy. This is applicable to all the children in the ministry of for the blood of Christ and in awe of Elohim, Hayim. The land of the enemy is wherever, wheresoever the vile, wretched seeds of the devil have stolen, have kidnapped, have abducted using court orders, have abducted using false mental health, vicious, evil, ludicrous theory, have wrongfully institutionalized uh, uh, mothers, Christian mothers, and Christian fathers for their sole ridiculous benefit, money, control, manipulative power over the other parent. You said here that my children, Joseph and Faith, shall come again from Kentucky, the land of the enemy, the land that hates God, the land that hates your daughter, the land that hates the Bible, the land that hates the name of God, the land that hates God, the land that hates children who loves God, the land that hates mothers who love God, the land that hates fathers who love God, the land of the enemy, the land of God's enemy, the land of the adversary, the land of God's adversary. Uh, verse 17, hallelujah. This is what you've said. This is what you said, Lord, not just to me, but to the uh, beautiful sister who is brilliant in mind, brilliant in spirit, even though her body, Lord, was not uh, the way that the average person's body is. Her spirit was strong. Her spirit was whole. Her mind was strong. Her mind was whole. And that day, that evening, you spoke through her. Hallelujah. Now, saith the Lord, in verse 17, this is you, Lord. I'm not saying nothing that I'm saying. I'm saying what you said. This is what you said. And there is hope. In thine end, in my end, there is hope, saith the Lord, that Joseph and Faith shall come again to their own border. What is my children's own border? That is my side. That is back 
to my custody. That is back to my house. That is back to my bosom. That is back to my lap. That is back to the presence, the essence of my womb. My womb, which brought forth my children, Joseph and Faith, came out of my womb, came down my birth canal, came out of my vagina, came into this world, birth, because they are heritage of the Lord. This is my children, which God gave to me, my son Joseph. As I hold my womb, my daughter Faith, as I hold my womb, were given unto me. My womb is their body. As I hold my womb, as I uh, hold up these hands uh, which held my children for the first time, uh, which held the anointing uh, of the Lord, uh, of the angel of the Lord, uh, of Adonai Tzivothel, uh, as I place these hands uh, upon my womb, uh, which bored for nine months, uh, carried and nurtured uh, these breasts, uh, which gave suck uh, to Joseph, uh, these breasts, uh, which gave suck uh, to faith, Lord God, one for six months, the other for six weeks. Lord, these breasts which gave milk to mine inheritance. Now, Lord, according to Nahum chapter 1, verse 2, this is not even about me. This is about you. My son Joseph, Lord, whom I taught about you, who accepted you as his savior, was baptized on July the 28th of 2018 in the Manchester SDA Church. My daughter Faith, who would run to my bed every night night and pulled me to have worship. Lord, who would dance on my bed, who would dance on her brother's bed, who would dance to the songs of worship. My baby Faith, who knows the presence of the angel of the Lord and would Come and take my sandals from off my feet and put them to the door of that rinky-dink, vile, unclean apartment where the seed of the serpent dwelled in the basement. Lord God, these are the inheritance I speak of. Joseph and Faith, my beloved, your beloved, Lord, my son, Lord, my daughter, Joseph and Faith, Lord God in Latin, Jose Ife, Jose Ife, Lord, that's who I talk of, Lord, that's who I bring up to you, that's who I present before the throne, <laughs> Lord God, that's who I hold up <laughs> before the great and mighty Sophia throne, Lord, before the one whose feet are of brass, execrosem domini, fugite partes ad vasai, visit leon de tribu juda, Radix David, Alleluia, Lord God Almighty, Yeshua Hamashiach, Lord Adonai Tzivothel, Lord Angel of the Lord, tall and terrible, great and mighty, the one who comes as the executor of vengeance, the one who comes to avenge the name of God, the one who comes to free my children. 
Jose Ife, the one who comes to bring my children out of the land of the enemy, out of Kentucky, the one who comes to get in honor upon Pharaoh, the one who comes, Lord God, to snatch back from Sinatcherib, my children, the one who comes, Lord God, to execute judgment, to execute wrath, to execute his vengeance upon Sinatcherib army, all 185,000 of them, the one who will make them fill the fields of Kentucky as dead corpses, the one who is great and mighty, the one who rides upon Lord God, <laughs> the star of heaven, the one who, Lord God, has his specialized <laughs> transporter, the one who comes, the Lord, <laughs> standing upon the star of heaven, Lord Adonai Tzivothel, be glorified, get you your honor upon Pharaoh, get you your honor upon King Jabin, get you your honor upon Goliath of Gat, the uncircumcised Philistine dog. <laughs> Lord, you've tried him and you've seen that he is vile and filthy and unclean. <laughs> Lord, all of Sinatcherib's army, <laughs> vile and unclean. <laughs> Lord, lay them out <laughs> like it is in First Kings uh, chapter 19. <laughs> I get you your honor. I get you your glory, Lord before the day is done, before the words are out of my mouth, I get you your honor, Lord, for your name's sake, for your glory, Lord, get you your honor, that all men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the most high God over all the earth, over all the earth, Lord God, we will give you all the glory, hallelujah, we give you all the honor, for you deserve the glory and the honor. We lift our hearts in worship as we bless your holy name. You deserve the glory and all the honor, all the honor, Lord, for your worship, for your name, for your word, for your worship. You said you are a jealous God. Now let us see you fulfill your promises. Promises, Lord, let us see you fulfill your promises because you're faithful, faithful, faithful. And you will never, never, ever, ever go back on your promises. Everything you have promised has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. See what the Lord has done. Father, as I clap, you march. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Father, I thank you. There is none like you. None like you. None like you. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, praise God. My precious children. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I'm going to wrap up here. 
but there's something that I must share with you, one of my testimony. I shared a little bit about, uh, well, I shared three testimonies with you, but I didn't call them testimonies because they are real life happening. So if you want to hear them again, go back and listen. But a couple weeks ago in the month of October, I was at the house and I heard the voice of God say, uh, hand vacuum. And I'm like, hand vacuum? Blood of Jesus Christ, hand vacuum? My feet are under the blood, serpents, scorpions, bunning ants, frogs, roaches, crocodiles, alligators, unclean, toads, unclean, rats, unclean, serpents. My feet are under the blood. You dare to cross the bloodline. You are annihilated. Hallelujah. 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 My precious children, I heard the Spirit of God say, hand vacuum. And I said, well, I do have a hand vacuum, but I need one with a long nozzle. So I was like, I wonder if, if there's a, a Goodwill. I wonder if there's one there. The Holy Ghost said, go, go to Goodwill. Go to Goodwill and see. So I went to Goodwill. I got to Goodwill and I walked around, I observed, and then I walked around. And as I'm walking around my precious children, I observed a precious girl. She looks about 13, 14, maybe 12, 12, 13. She had a, she said, she went over and she picked up this hand back and she said, oh, mom, look. And another lady said something. Oh, I don't, I don't want it. Um, no, I think she said, Auntie Luke. So, because she was near to another lady. And the, the lady she recognized as Auntie, Auntie said, um, Oh, yeah, that's nice. But I have one already. I don't need it. And then the Auntie turned to this other lady and said, Oh, but you can have it. So I'm watching them. It's funny because, you know, I went there for a hand vacuum. And I'm watching them and... The auntie said, oh no, like she would say, oh, Annette, you, you can have it. I have, I have one. I don't need it. I don't need any more stuff. I have one. You can have it. And so the little girl brought it, the vacuum over to this other cart and put it in there. And then, blood of Jesus Christ, my shoulders are under the blood. My head is under the blood. My face is under the blood. I share this story with you, my precious children, to let you know that evil is real. Witches are real. Warlocks are real. Evil is real. Obiawaka, white magic, black magic, soothsayers, tarot card readers, psychics, they are real. They tap into the dark magic. They tap into darkness. But we thank God that we are children of light. And light is greater than darkness. I don't care how dark a place is. If you got a little tiny light, it's going to outlast that darkness. The darkness will have to flee. Even, even if, and this is what God revealed to me, when the Lord said in Genesis chapter 1, and verse 3, let there be light. The word of God in verse 2 said, the darkness was upon the face of the deep. The darkness was so strong, all the, all the Lord God could see was the darkness. It was a deep darkness. And the Lord said, let there be light. And you know what? The darkness fled and it fled and there was light. So no matter how tiny, see this little fingernail, which this is a testimony, 
one day I'll share with you. I want you to pay attention though. Don't, don't mind my dry skin. Just pay attention to my fingernail. See that? It's two different fingernails. One is almost like pinkish and the other one is a little darker. This one is darker. This one is more pink. If you notice, one is broader, one is bigger, one is narrower. One day I'll share with you about these two fingernails, two little fingers. Anyways, I digress. So, the little girl put the vacuum in a cart for the other lady. And I'm walking around in the Goodwill looking. And the Holy Ghost said to me, talk to the little girl. So the little girl comes over to where I was. And I, she had on a lot of um, medals, and I began to talk to her. I said to her, what are those medals? Do you swim? I thought she was a swimmer because my daughter used to swim. Anyways, she said, no, I got these. And she started telling me she got them for different academic awards and being in attendance every day. And I was like, oh, congratulations. And I'm talking with her, and then over walked to this lady with a cart, the cart in which she had put the vacuum. And the Spirit of God said to me, Grace, look at this lady. She's on the spiritual attack. You used to be like her. You could see the, the fog over her face. Well, you probably couldn't see the fog, but I could see the, the, the veil. The, there's like a haze. I could literally see the, the haze over her body, over her eyes, over her face. I could literally see the haze over her. And then, oh, Holy Ghost, thank you. The Lord said, pray for her, but don't put your hand on her. And of course, I put my hand on her, put my hand on her shoulder, this hand, left hand, and I began to pray for her. I told her, I said, the Lord wants me to pray for you. She said, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Because before the Lord said pray for her, I could hear her complaining how she's feeling weak, how she's not feeling well. And, and the Lord said, Grace, that lady's on the spiritual attack. Pray for her. And I'm like, okay. The Lord is like, pray for her, but don't put your hand on her. Anyways, I put my hand on her. I told her, God wants me to pray for her. And I started praying for her. When I, when the Lord said, don't put your hand on her, she had on a short sleeve like this. And I could see, I could see her hand. I could see pimples on her hand and scars. You see this black spots here? These black spots? These are my war scars. These are from my war. These are from the wars I've been through. I'm, I'm going to show you. You see these? These are from the wars I've been through. They're kind of fading now. But these are from the wars I've been through. Yeah. Um, I put my hand on her and I prayed for her. And it was um, the very evening as I drove away. See these? These are my war scars. The Holy Ghost said, Grace, you don't listen. I said, Lord, forgive me. By the time I got back to the house, which was only about a mile and a half away from the Goodwill, um, I began to see these formed. And the Lord said, you don't listen. I told you, don't put your hand on her. Just pray for her. The Holy Ghost said, when Christ walked the earth, he didn't touch everybody. He would rebuke the, de the demons. He would rebuke the devils and they would flee. But he never touched everybody. The Lord said, don't touch people unless I tell you to touch them. And so I learned a lesson that day. As you can see, the, the, the bite marks are gone. The lady is on the spiritual attack, demons. And the Lord revealed to me who is it that is actually attacking her. You know, sometimes in our own family, there are people who know the anointing you have. And because they see the anointing upon your life, your own. In fact, the word of God says, a man's enemy is in his own household. Yeah, sometimes your own family members will attack you in the spirit because they've seen the anointing and the calling upon your life. But I say all of this to say to you, not every spiritual attack is from your family. Some of it is from evil, vile, wretched people. And so... 
I'm here today, my precious children, to say to you, have faith in God. Believe God for your healing. I don't care what the wretches have done. You see these? They are healed in Jesus' name. Because I've been through the battle. I've been through the fire. I've been through the flood. And my God has given me authority and power over unclean, wretched, bunning ants, scorpions, serpents, frogs, rats, dogs, shit, cow shit, all kind of shit, pig shit, cat shit, every kind of unclean stuff. God has given me power over to tread upon them by the blood of Jesus Christ. So, any yoji roba come, my father will lay them out. My father will lay them out. My precious children, I'm here today to remind you that God is a spirit. And we who worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth. Today, I pronounce the blood of Jesus upon your head, upon your heart, upon your body, upon your mind, upon your soul, upon even to the very tips of your toes. The blood of Jesus, when the unclean serpents come against you, you say to them, devil, my fingers are under the blood. Devil, my feet, even my feet, even my toenails are under the blood of Jesus Christ. And if you dare to cross that bloodline, be consumed by the blood, be destroyed by the blood, be annihilated by the blood, be burned up by the blood, be destroyed by the blood, be consumed in the blood, be destroyed under the blood, be annihilated in the blood, be destroyed in the blood, be consumed in the blood, be destroyed in the blood. You shake off those demons in the blood. You stomp on those serpents in the blood. You destroy those bunning ants in the blood. You annihilate those serpents in the blood. You destroy in the blood. You break off in the blood. You break the chains in the blood. You crush the serpents in the blood. You annihilate the demons in the blood. You crush the serpents in the blood. You defeat in the blood. You burn up in the blood. You annihilate in the blood. You defeat in the blood. You rebuke in the blood. You denounce in the blood. You renounce in the blood. You massacre in the blood. You strike in the blood. You strike in the blood. You smite in the blood. You smite in the blood. You smite in the blood. You defeat by the blood. You tear down in the blood. You break apart in the blood. You break open in the blood. You defeat in the blood. You crush in the blood. You kill in the blood. Snatch a red beat down. Be destroyed in the blood. Pharaoh be destroyed in the blood. Vile wretched serpent be destroyed in the blood. Vile counselor be destroyed in the blood. Vile wretched seeds of the devil be destroyed in the blood. Vile wretched Pharaoh. Vile wretched Goliath, vile wretched Jabin, vile wretched, oh God, Sinatrib, destroy in the blood. Be destroyed in the blood. In Jesus' name, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in the name of Jesus Christ, we defeat you in the blood. We annihilate you in the blood. We destroy you in the blood. We Cut off your head in the blood. We cut off your fangs in the blood. We destroy your fangs in the blood. We destroy your sting in the blood. We destroy your bands in the blood. We destroy your chains in the blood. We break by the blood. We destroy by the blood. We defeat by the blood. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, we destroy you in the blood of Jesus Christ. Any Yojiroba Kome, Ababa, Mileja, 
vile, unclean seeds of the devil be destroyed in the blood of Jesus Christ. In the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, in Jesus' name, be destroyed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. I can hear the demons scream, no mercy, Lord. Yeshua, no mercy. Adonai, Tiziva with no mercy upon the seeds of the wretched, wicked wretches. No mercy, Lord. Adonai, Tiziva with get you your honor for your worship, for your name, for your worship. You said you are jealous. You said your name is jealous. Now, Lord God Almighty, let your name be known in the earth so that men may know that thou whose name alone is Jehovah art the most high God over all the earth, over all the earth. We give you the praise and the honor. We give you the glory. In Jesus' holy name, hallelujah, and amen, amen, amen. My precious children, I'm going to pronounce a blessing over you, and then I'm going to end here. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace henceforth and forevermore. Amen. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, 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 ya. Yad, hey, va, hey. Yad, hey, va, hey. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Remember. If you need prayer, go ahead and write for the blood of Christ at gmail.com. For the blood of Christ at gmail.com. And uh, I will personally pray on your prior request. God loves you, and I love you.